Hi, Susan here at the Red Brick House, and today I am bringing you another gardening video. So I already made one video, if you want to go back and check that one out, um, of just a kind of a winter garden cleanup. Well today, I'm going to improve upon that area. I want to continue to improve upon that little area we call our butterfly garden, and so that it just looks beautiful for the spring and the summer. And so today, I have a little water feature out there, and it's kind of a recycled project, really. Um, the base of that water feature is a old chiminea chimney, and the top is just one of those trays that you put under your plant so that the water doesn't leak out everywhere. And that, that top is already the color that I'm going to change it to. I, I took a long time deciding on what color I wanted to choose because there's so many choices when you go to the store and you look at these kinds of paints. This is a Krylon Fusion All-in-One Paint Primer and it's called Satin Brick. So I thought this looked nice because this color is kind of in my bricks that I have in my little seating area out there. And so I'm going to spray paint the whole thing, give it a, a glow up if you will with this paint and then I'm going to replace some of the gravel. I was having a lot of weeds come up in this little garden or along the gravel path and I noticed that it's really it's gotten really thin so I'm going to put out some new gravel and this is a new color which I actually like better than the one that was already down because when we created that garden that was back during the time you know when you had to wear the thing on your face during that time remember those days <laughs> um, there wasn't a lot of supplies available at that time so I had to go with what I had and I didn't really like that gravel very much so I was so happy when I went to the store that I found um, kind of a, a bluish grayish tone gravel it uh, has some different, kind of some different colors in it. The one before that I didn't like was just kind of a sand, all one color, and they were teeny tiny. This is a little thicker. So hopefully, I don't know, maybe it will help keep some of those weeds at bay. So I'm going to do that. And then I also got some Dianthus. I got three of them, um, and they are the variety. I'm looking at the little tag here. They are Ideal Select Violet, and they're like a two-tone purple and pink, but when you look at them outside, I should have brought them in here, but I didn't, <laughs> but I'll show you when we get outside. Um, they are kind of a, a pink and a purple together. They're beautiful. I'm so excited to have some color back there, and Dianthus are great for where we live. I have some in one of my other beds, and they just stay, for us, I'm in zone eight, so they stay all winter. They stay green. They even bloom in the winter. And if you watch that first video, you know I need some I need some winter interest in that little space. <laughs> and so I have a couple of those that I'm going to plant around the little water feature. And if I like them there, I may just end up lining that whole gravel walkway with them with different colors. I want this garden to just be colorful and kind of whimsical because it is a butterfly garden. Uh, I want it to just be, I'm not, not wild, but I don't want it to be over manicured, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm doing today, and so I'm just going to take you along, set you up outside, and you can watch me while I work and see the, the end result. Alright, so let's get started.
park is done for today. I'll just give you a quick little walk through. So these are the tulips I planted um, on the last video. This is some salvia here. And then there's also more salvia over there. It has reseeded itself, so it kind of goes everywhere. Here's some more on the other side of my little makeshift fence there. And then down here. This is my verbena. Last time I cut it back, and now look at it growing back. It gets really tall. It comes all the way up to the top of this fence. And then here is the new and improved re up glowed gl you got a glow up bird bath there and the little dianthus aren't they pretty let me get up close they're so pretty i put a little compost in there to help them you see that one that one's a little darker oh they're so pretty I love how they're little. They look like they have little antennas on the inside, like little butterfly antennas. I don't know if you can see that, if I can get close enough. But they're so cute. And I love the gravel. The gravel's a bit of a different color than what it was before. Because for a long time I couldn't find this color, but I prefer this actually better. Okay, I'm going to swing you around slowly. And this is the blackberry. all the new growth coming out on that everywhere so hopefully we have berries this year this is our second year with it of course it's in a pot because they get out of control really quickly so that's just to help it behave itself it's also up and off the ground and here's our little little stump our little toadstool which I want to get another one of those over here there's some more salvia there like I said, it just kind of seeded itself, but I don't mind. And then here's the butterfly bush. Now, here where we live, we can grow butterfly bush, and it's not a problem. Even some of our local parks have some butterfly bushes there. This one has never given me any trouble at all. It's never reseeded itself or anything. And it doesn't have the proper light here for it to really get huge and grow fast. So I just give it a prune back every now and then. So yeah, that's it. It's done for now. I'm looking forward to doing more improvements on this area this year. So I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.